Hey guys, Steve from Merc Films here, and today I am here with a little tutorial on how to basically learn how to drive in video games, or get better at it. Um, this applies to pretty much any game that involves driving or racing, things of that nature. Um, but keep in mind, every game is a little different, so you might have to adjust accordingly. I will be covering the video with an Xbox 360 controller, but this, a lot of these things can apply to you know keyboard and mouse and uh, racing wheels for gaming and so forth. So let's get started. Now, one of the first things we're probably going to want to look at is to checking the game's options to see if there's any driving or driver assists. Now, these things include ABS, traction control, and auto braking, things of that nature. Some of you may not need this or experience enough to the point where turning it off is the best solution. But to those who are just starting or trying to, just not sure what you're doing, you can always turn these on. They're great help and it's probably a good way to start learning. Now the next thing I want to cover is what I call feathering, and I see a lot of people overlook this. Now keep in mind, if you're using a keyboard and mouse, this does not apply to you, but if you're using a controller or a steering wheel controller with some pedals, you're going to want to try to figure this out. Now what is feathering? Well if you're in a real car, you're not going to be having the throttle all the way down to the floor, you're not going to be hitting the brakes so hard to the point where you lock them and you can't stop in time. Same concept applies for games. Now if you're driving a video game, when you come up to a turn, you don't want to lock your wheels. You want to keep as much traction as you can. So, you want to lightly tap on the brakes. You want to lightly tap on the gas. And depending on what you're trying to do, you want to control this accordingly. And learning this is very key. Alright, so now that we have feathering covered, let's talk about braking and cornering. And this is the most one of the most important things when it comes to driving. Now, I'm no expert. But, from what I've learned from those who have had... Uh, track experience and from what seems to have worked for me is that brake and shift all before you engage a turn. Now this means decelerating, braking, and then shifting to whatever gear you need to be in all before the turn without losing any traction. Now once you've engaged the turn what you're going to want to do is try to keep to the inside as close as possible. Now some turns may require you to go a little bit on the outside but that's okay. Now the reason you wouldn't want to brake or shift during a turn for the most part is because you could lose traction while doing so. Now some turns may require you to brake or shift in mid turn. Just keep in mind you, what you're trying to do is keep m as much traction as you can throughout the entire turn. And guys, don't forget to look where you're going. People tend to go where they look. If you look to the side, you're going to go off to the side. So always look where you're going. Know your game's physics. Now every game has slightly different car feels and the physics are a little different in each game. It's very important to adjust your driving style to those physics. Next up, learning the course. Now this is very important because when you know the track, you are at an advantage. You can prepare for the turns where you, you know when the straight's coming up you know what's going on and most games usually let you go back and replay or practice on different tracks and courses and this is very important this is, will give you the upper hand and make you better prepared for what's to come know your driving style everyone has their own driving sound they're all kind of different in their own way now you could be an aggressive driver you can be a passive driver you could be a little bit of both it's all down to your personal tastes and how you want to drive and what you're comfortable doing. And learning that is very important. Adjust the terrain. Now this is important. A lot of games have multiple different terrain types, meaning, you know, games like dirt will have mud, sand, ice, and things of that nature. And keep in mind weather conditions too. Now when terrain changes that means your driving style might have to change and you might have to adjust accordingly and this is very important when it comes to racing now last but not least practice makes perfect that's right we have to practice we're a human we don't just suddenly learn something right off the bat unless we're somehow born with it but that usually doesn't happen so yes you have to practice and a lot of games offer like a practice mode or free roam mode and just toy around just drive around, get a feel for everything, and you will get better. So everyone, that's all I have time for, and that's all I got. 
Um, I know I'm not the best driver and this is probably not the best learning method, but it has helped me tremendously and I hope it helps you all. And if you guys haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's only a click away. I make a lot of content. I make things like machinimas, short films, and commentaries such as these. And if you guys want more, be sure to leave a comment. Hit that like button. It all helps me out. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope this helped, and I'll be back in the next episode. Take it easy. Oh,